you need to understand certain basics, right? Even if you are a technology startup or some startup or a small and medium enterprise, cloud is not a one fit site or one site fits all solution. Right? There would be certain use cases, potentially any you know, large enterprise which have their own IT infrastructure, but it is not possible to move from uh, you know, data center. He says, uh, you know, cloud is not reliable, it could go down any time. Right? People do not have any control over it, right? But the fact is that hardware as such, any hardware that you take, whether it's your computer or your car, any hardware is bound to fail at some point of time. Right? And it's not just hardware, even your software could fail. Right? Disaster recovery is faster and easier on cloud. As I said, in automation, if, you know, even if something worse happens, right? even if say Amazon's data center goes down, like it happened in Christmas Eve, like my data is still sitting there on, uh, redundantly on some other data center that Amazon has. I could recover my data quickly from there, sitting at my home and... Save a lot of cost, don't have takebacks, automate a lot of stuff that you would be doing otherwise manually with a, a huge IT team, right? Focus on your product, that's the most important part. You don't need to worry about my server getting down, my server crashing, right? Like, yeah. Try to migrate cloud or mainstream on the cloud, that's not gonna happen. Right? But on an average for a small and medium company and even for large companies like Netflix, cloud actually helps you reduce the complexity on nothing your IT because now we are not you know entangled in all those networking wires. First and foremost, right? Salesforce is probably the you know biggest enterprise SaaS story, success story today, right? Salesforce.com is an online CRM. Right? So previously we used to install SAP or Oracle or CB to our CRM, but Salesforce changed that. Right? It gave uh, a CRM platform as a service online on cloud. Security is not foolproof anyway, okay, even for the best of the, of the most security concerned uh, organizations. But if you are IT, uh, you are having some IT infrastructure, chances are that your application, if built correctly, has you know is more security uh, has more security than your in-house infrastructure. Cloud is secure, right? And we trust our data with cloud. Right? This is probably one of the most hyped thing spread by those hardware vendors. but according to some studies, AWS or Amazon Web Services uh, has 70% of the market share of the IAS market. Right? So they are clearly the leader, the top ones. And they are the pioneers and probably they are the best feature set as well. So inter interesting fact is uh, Rackspace has you know 80% capacity, 80% lesser capacity than AWS. Okay? But still they are the second largest IAS player. Right? So you can just imagine the scale of uh, both AWS and Rackspace. Not everybody must have heard about Redbus. They are huge now. Right? They cover all of India. Started by three friends who never got a bus again when they wanted to travel home on Diwali. That's when the idea came up. Right? These guys have built a huge team and a huge revenue of resources. Now they cover each and every bus route in India. Right? They are 100% on cloud. Now a sample, this is again a sample, not even 1% of the startups globally on cloud. Smartmark, Pinterest, Airbnb, Instagram. Instagram, everybody would have heard about it, right? Everybody has it on their smartphone, Android, Blackberry or iPhone. Uh, Facebook bought it for what, a billion dollars last year? So these guys use different clouds, some Microsoft, some Google, some Amazon Web Services. Essentially they are using cloud. Not investing in infrastructure, they're using somebody else's infrastructure and paying on a monthly basis. And all of them have a few, at least a few million dollar business. Right, eighty percent of ten billion of what Microsoft is spending is going into cloud, uh, cloud computing research. 
same with HP, same with Amazon, same with Google, same with Oracle. Everybody is now trying to go and access the market of public cloud computing. Everybody is investing billions and billions of dollars into cloud computing. Right? So be rest assured if these big guys are spending on it, they see a market for it. Right? Oracle is not just the second largest software company. Right? Just like that, they see a future, that's why they are investing. There are a lot of smart people in Oracle and Microsoft. The number one and two software companies, if they are spending, everybody will be spending. So it's serious business. It's not going anywhere. The future of cloud is very bright.